Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, short TA update on Bitcoin. I can't do a walk and talk on the beach because it's pretty cloudy and windy. Sun comes through a little bit, but there's a chance it goes raining again here. And so I'm doing a short TA from my laptop, guys. Uh, too much wind. Guys, today talking about three amazing charts that is a must see at the moment. One of the charts has never been shared before and that chart is showing you exactly which emotional roller coaster you're going through right now and also what you should do right now. That's what I'm going to talk about. Now let's quickly jump into the first chart over BAM here. This is the first chart guys. Yes, it's directly zooming out because I'm not going to zoom in and stress about the minute charts and the one hour chart and the four hour chart because that is not what I think you should be um, looking at at the moment. If you want to be a trader, yes, be my guest and trade and use the BAM BAM indicator to help you guys. But um, if you're an investor <clears throat> or a long term hodler, this is the chart that uh, is very important to you guys. So on this chart, you can see a few things. And the most important thing is that green line, for example, on those green boxes, of course, um, these green lines are the trend lines from the top to the bottom and we when we break that that's kind of the reversal into this new bullish momentum so here has the green line comes down again we break it we go into a bullish momentum and also the bull run now here again we came down with that green line we broke it uh, the price is now moving above that red line that's a 200 weekly moving average and um, we can see that other line this is this one and we'll double click it so you can see it over here the inputs that's the 70 simple moving average uh, which also has been very important in the past because if you see the price moving above that 200 weekly moving average and above that 70 moving average the 70 moving average turning into a green instead of that red part that is very bullish that's really the start of that bull market that doesn't mean we go bam up like this it means we can go sideways but slowly build up into this new bull run all the way up into 2025. now we can see that happening every time the price finding support on that 200 weekly coming above that uh, 70 into that green box beautiful run now we see exactly the same structure i'm going to zoom into this period now a little bit more so that you understand exactly what i'm talking about because there is something more that we can see on the weekly chart guys and the weekly chart guys that means for all the newcomers that every candle represents one week okay now what we can see here is something very cool we can see on the weekly, yes, we fell below that red line for the first time in Bitcoin's history, but we found support on the 300 weekly, that is normally should be somewhere down below there, I don't have it on the chart. Uh, and now we found again that big push above that 200 weekly moving average. And how did we push above it? At the moment, we can see a head and shoulder, an inverse head and shoulder, which means we have this beautiful um, shoulder over there, we have a head over there, and we have a shoulder over there and now we are above that line again and we come and we retested that line that line is also the neckline of that head and shoulder so normally when the neckline of the head and shoulder is being retested we can see a move that's almost as big as the top of the head to the neckline so this kind of a move and that kind of move would bring us exactly to the level we have been talking about for weeks between 35 and 40k which uh perfectly is in line with the next line of resistance if i take um, this beautiful horizontal way look over there here up there look this is where we were fighting that line we couldn't come we go down we went above it again around that line here again around that line you see here again and then broke that line so this line should be the next target i'm talking about the line of course but you know we all know it's trading and in trading it's difficult to talk about lines i am by an exact resistance so you should draw a box something like this then you can find a better moment to sell if we go into this huge move so that is what i expect at the moment on the weekly chart yes we will have this beautiful setup now to make a bullish move all the way above 30k which is in line and with everything that we see in the past how bitcoin has been moving now i will clean this shit a little bit up now <laughs> it's too many colors um the thing that you can also see is now that red line that 70 simple moving average here is turning green and we're finding support on that red line now as well 
you see the candles are on top of that line if you go back in history when the red line turns into green look we can see that there was a star with blue one over there here when that red line is turning to green we can see it's a star with blue one the only difference is that that line is 70 simple moving average was not as close <clears throat> to the 200 weekly moving average as it is now because now they are crossing that's the only difference and if you zoom out uh, and we would repeat bitcoin's normal cycle then you see that normally uh, from that moment that we are now uh, we should be going up uh, beautifully into that green box so we should be seeing moves like a little bit down maybe up a little bit up uh, you know all the way up so slowly building into that huge bull run ending somewhere july 2025 september at the bull market top maybe 150k maybe 200k who knows maybe only 100k but this is sort of how it normally moves so this moment over here is a perfect moment to get in to get that shit load of profit that you can make over there so this is still a confirmation of not nah, the bear market is over this was the bottom over there we are retesting now the 200 this is when you step in. This is when the smart money also will get in. So this is why if I were you, I would go into Bitcoin now. Now, let's quickly jump into some more beautiful charts over here. Um, I don't have many because I just don't have too much time um, today again. Sorry for that. Yes, it's a little bit busy lately. And uh, that's also because uh, we are going to start filming again for the documentary. I think we are even signed a contract that the first episodes will go live end of this year just before the halving of course good timing uh, and and some other stuff there's so much going on at the moment also in the family that um, i will start filming again about family again and all the things and discussions we're going through uh, we are also going to visit the netherlands soon so yeah there's a lot of stuff going on but that's why i'll keep this one short now i will go into the next one over bam here this is the first one this one is beautiful simple and i found it on twitter um, how more simple can i make it for you guys look if you believe in uh, history <laughs> then you see that every time when that blue line goes above that um, red line and moves above that dotted line that is the moment you should have bought in history here you should have bought in history here you should have bought in history why because on the top you can see the price it's the moment you buy over there you join that bull run of the arrow. The moment you would have bought over there, you would have joined that bull run over there. The moment you would have bought over here, you would have joined that bull run over there. Ah, where are we now? There. That blue line crossed. We are above that dotted line. This is the moment you buy. This is this face over there. This is this face over there. This is this face over there. That is exactly in line with this face over there. So if I need to draw it, maybe it's more clear for you guys than if I draw it. This face over there, look, is exactly in line with this face over there, with this face over there. Ah, beautiful, the black, the, and the, here now. Now, you don't see the face anymore, but that is the moment you should be buying because there will be an arrow again that way. Okay, that's a very simple chart. Now, now comes a very important chart that everybody needs to understand because, um, bam, over here, yes, I know you have a lot of emotions at the moment going on. And these emotions, um, they will take you in a roller coaster ride all over the place from being very happy to being, ah, I don't know if Bitcoin will ever recover from this. Um, cheat sheet, they call it, Hodler's cheat sheet, the rational route. Uh, so I know these emotions. Why do I know these emotions? Because I've been through these emotions already now, three cycles, guys. 2013, I already started mining Bitcoin now. And these emotions are very important because we are at the moment at this phase over there, enduring this shit isn't going nowhere that's the feeling that you have now man bitcoin is not moving at all it's just hanging around 25 6k it's, it's, it's not going nowhere so we just left this phase here the depression and the capitulation the bottom phase every time the bottom phase uh, luckily i didn't go because it starts right now is over there that feeling and it always follows up by this feeling and then it will feel, uh, follow up by stagnation this is a sucker rally. This eh, we will have a small rally, but it's like ah, it's not a real rally. It's a sucker rally. It's not stagnating. Bitcoin, I don't believe anymore. It's, uh, when you go into disbelief, you know this rally will um, will fall like before. Like I don't believe this is the real rally. You know this is gonna be back down again to 25. Well, probably here we already are around maybe um, like 
uh, 30k again and then we are like nah it's not gonna do it it's gonna go back to 25 again okay and then you get this doubt phase who is this the halving uh, is the halving price already si uh, priced in uh, because the halving is over here so is that price already priced in the halving or or are we going to go up now because of the halving you start to doubt and from the doubt you will go into hope again and that hope um, will show you again uh, a recovery is possible wow we are really able to do this this is going to be the halving we're going to go up and then around the calm you know you start to become feel calm and like ah oh, yeah bitcoin is going into the halving yes we are going to go up and then you start to become optimistic again oh yeah this is the bull run yeah the halving started like every time before we are going to go massively up now all the way into 2025 this of course is around april 2024 and then you start to believe again and then many other people start to believe again wow bitcoin is doing it again it's again this beautiful halving you know and then the top might be in then that phase comes when we are going to go slowly into wow this is really high we just have a new all-time high we are above the 70k this is somewhere in the, uh, the beginning of 2025 of course and then we get a thrill phase oh shit i gotta tell everyone now to buy and that's too late you should have bought a 30 key like i'm telling you now and then you go into euphoria and there's the moment bam over there that you think that you're a genius and that you will add to a position but that is the moment you should be selling because euphoria is the last phase you should start to um, exit the market again because you know then it will have a cool off period and you think ah it's just cool off and then you go into the denial panic capitulation again and we are at the bear market bottom in 2026-27 that is how the market moves every time again and again and again. It moves like this in 2014 to 2017, 2017 to 2021, and it will move like this in 2021 all the way up to 2026 again, in my opinion. Where the top will be in 2025, the bottom will be in 2026, and the halving in 2024. This is how Bitcoin has been moving, and I believe Bitcoin keeps moving like that. And we can have a lot of news about the SEC and Gary Gensler and all those other idiots there wearing suits thinking that they know how to destroy Bitcoin. It's impossible. Bitcoin is decentralized. If it will be destroyed in America, it will only be the on and off ramp. Fuck it. Fuck America. We will continue Bitcoin in all other countries that do matter. The dollar doesn't matter anymore that much, guys. If they want to fuck up their own country by regulating the fuck out of Bitcoin, that is the future of money or the future of gold or the evolution of the technology that will decentralize the complete world, then let them fuck it up. Move to another country, go live somewhere else where they do accept Bitcoin and where they do understand that you should be able to choose for yourself if you want to invest your capital in a certain asset, yes or no. Who are they to tell you to not be able to use your capital to do something? It's your capital. You worked for your capital. You should be able to decide what you do with it. If you think Bitcoin is good, you should be able to buy Bitcoin for it because that's the way you can enrich yourself, um, not only in mindset, but also in, in capital. And that's what they don't want. That's what they don't want. Those puppets up there, they don't want you to become rich because then you might have an own opinion and do whatever you want. You should be poor. And that's why they want to regulate the fuck out of Bitcoin in the United States, if it's up to me. Now, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed all the charts. If you did enjoy the charts, then start to buy Bitcoin now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention that you can buy Bitcoin, of course, on Bybit. On Bybit, we still have that iPhone uh, giveaway. So if you, before the 30th of June, so it, it was extended with another month, you can still sign up to Bybit with, uh, and deposit $100. You get $20 for free. Um, and then you need to fill a form. And when you fill that form, you get the chance of winning an iPhone 14. And that will be announced after 30th of june if i'm right uh, you can see it on this banner over there Psh, that is exactly telling you what you should do and what you can win a uh, beautiful thing um, uh, leave a comment down below i hope uh, you enjoyed it thank you for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again bam